Before we begin diving into creating a new theme, I want to cover a few methods of getting started. Broadly speaking, there are three ways to get started with the theme. First, triple course ships with a few themes, and these may be suitable for very basic sites, but they are mostly considered as starting points to create custom themes. The core themes are found in the core directory, and just like everything else in here, they should not be directly edited. If you do want to use one of these themes, what you'll want to do is create your own custom theme that inherits the styles from one of these core themes. Another option is starting off with the contrib theme. Similar to modules, drupal.org has plenty of themes created by the community. You can check these out by visiting the project section on drupal.org. When looking for a contrib theme, pay close attention to if it is a starter theme or a full theme. Many themes on drupal.org serve as a starting point for developers, and they may not be enough on their own. Pay close attention to the documentation and look at the issues page. Look to make sure it meets your requirements. It may be tempting to start off with a theme that is already done, but if it doesn't suit your needs, you may need to spend more time overwriting it than you would have been starting from scratch with a custom theme or, or even a starter theme. In most cases, the site you're building will require a custom theme. Typically, custom themes are sub-themes of a starter theme or a base theme, commonly classy or stable in Drupal core. We can manually create a theme, but I'd like to use the theme generator in my examples. The theme generator is an open source tool built by the team at Media Current to simplify creating Drupal themes. First, I'm going to start with creating a theme without the theme generator. And while this is a more tedious way to start a theme, I would still like to demonstrate how this is done so you can understand the basics of what a Drupal theme is. And after I demonstrate the basics of getting started with a theme manually, I am going to continue with this course using the theme generator. 